little bit of an introduction to our video for COM 375. Just wanna talk a little bit about COVID-19. In the past few months, COVID numbers have been skyrocketing. We're having increased numbers. Hospitalizations are getting worse and worse. In my personal opinion, it seems like this COVID thing is never gonna end. It's definitely not gonna end in early 2021. This little video that I'm making here is gonna just be talking about some of the preventative ways that we can go about fixing it. What, what do I really think the vaccine is going to do? Stuff like that. But yeah, guys, let's get right into it. Peace. Coronavirus is affecting my work by kind of slowing the, the amount of jobs we have. So I work for my dad in, the land, in his land development company. So we still are getting jobs, but not as much since before coronavirus hit. Um, like everybody else, I think my motivation has kind of has uh, decreased since the beginning of coronavirus. But I've kind of tried to keep myself, remind myself that I'm very fortunate and that um, I'm very lucky to be able to work. So that kind of helps me be stay more motivated. Part about working during coronavirus would definitely be having to remember to social distance and wear a mask because it's not something I'm used to, you know, working construction, you're kind of used to working close with people. So, you know, um, making sure that I'm uh, social distancing is definitely for my benefit, but it's something that I've had to get adjusted to. I definitely would love to get the vaccine, but um, I'm, I don't have a problem waiting till everybody else that's more high risk, like older people and healthcare workers get it before me because they're more exposed. But um, I'll definitely, until I can get the vaccine, keep on social distancing and wearing my mask and doing everything I can to prevent myself and everybody around me from getting the coronavirus. The cover of the upcoming issue of Time magazine, 2020, the worst year ever. Yeah, hospitalizations increasing in 40 states, plus D.C., Puerto Rico. Oh, good morning, Whit. Right now, three in 10 hospitals nationwide say their ICUs are at least 80% full. With cities like Lubbock, Texas, reporting right now, you could count the number of available ICU beds on one hand. And as we watch this pressure build over the past week, the daily death count here in the U.S. rose to its highest level of any point in this pandemic. This morning, coronavirus decimating American communities as the viral spread speeds faster. The U.S. already logging a million new cases in the first five days of December. We're seeing hospitalizations climb higher. In California, a record 25,000 new cases recorded Saturday. As sweeping new stay-at-home orders are set to take effect in major portions of the state. If you have a social bubble, it is now popped. We're now from infectious disease specialist and ABC News contributor, Dr. Todd Ellerin. Dr. Ellerin, first off, what's your reaction when you see all those pieces of the puzzle starting to come together? It's really amazing, Diane. I mean, this is so logistically complicated, but we've gotten through the, the first part, getting an effective and what appears to be a safe vaccine. Now the distribution and the implementation phase is critical. I know we're going to rise to the occasion. Uh, in the meantime, President-elect Biden has said that once he gets to office, he's going to ask the whole country to wear masks for at least 100 days. How big of an impact do you think that could have? This is, uh, this is the type of uh, national um, guidance that we really need because masks can't be optional. We know through many studies now that masks reduce transmission by as much as 70% that are masked the most have, have, have less uh, impact from COVID-19 degrees. So I think this is very important. I actually think masks are gonna be needed beyond the 100 day period, but I really like what I'm hearing. Masks are gonna be very important for 2021.